Here's your Alabama WX weather video for this Sunday. It's August the 8th or August the 6th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. It's back on this date in 2001 that Tropical Storm Barry moved inland about midnight on the uh, northwest Florida coast, somewhere right between Laguna Beach and Destin. Uh, top winds about 60 miles an hour. The uh, storm moved up into uh, north central Alabama, and the uh, it caused a good bit of rain for uh, our area. Uh, but the biggest casualty of the day was the NSYNC concert at uh, Legion Field that was canceled uh, because of the weather. Now we've got weather tonight. I'm recording this uh, just before midnight. Uh, this is a uh, composite radar across North Alabama showing uh, the showers and thunderstorms there that have been uh, moving into the state from West Alabama. Numerous reports of, uh, of uh, high winds, uh, quite a few reports of some trees down uh, around Salem and Fayette County. Also had some trees down up near Haleyville. Uh, up in the northwest corner of the state, some down in Sumter County, some power lines down. Also some reports of some hail uh, across the area uh, coming in uh, from numerous parts of the, uh, of the area tonight. This is live radar from Birmingham uh, showing here the uh, strongest thunderstorm now left in the area over southeastern Franklin County to the east of Phil Campbell. Everything has gone downhill over the last hour. There was a severe thunderstorm down there in Fayette County that caused that damage that also uh, caused a severe thunderstorm warning for parts of Tuscaloosa County. Over in East Alabama, we got a storm uh, east of Piedmont there, uh, exiting Cherokee County, moving into northern Claiborne. Uh, some showers along the interstates there in the Rainbow City Gaston area. Uh, a few showers moving into the Birmingham area right now, but light rain uh, for the most part. Some over there on I-20 uh, as well. Now, what we expect to happen going over the rest of the day here. Um, as we get into your Sunday, it looks like uh, another round of showers and thunderstorms. AAR did an okay job with this first round of storm. You see it moving through. Uh, you might have seen a shower or, or a pretty decent thunderstorm up there north of Corinth in Mississippi. Uh, looks like that might be moving through the Tennessee Valley uh, later tonight. Uh, but showers and thunderstorms will develop again once uh, we get the heating of the day going. We'll start off uh, fairly sunny across the area. Temperatures warming quickly into the 90s, and heat advisories are in effect uh, for a good bit of Alabama because of that. Showers and thunderstorms will develop, though, in the afternoon. Some of those could be strong to severe. We'll be watching that carefully again. The SPC uh, does have a marginal risk uh, for during the day on Sunday into Sunday evening. Another round of showers and thunderstorms develops on Monday. Day. little frontal boundary trying to move down into here upper pattern across north america uh, supporting that now the nam um, let's go back and look at it one of our other convective allowing models uh, showing uh, probably you know more in the way of showers and thunderstorms than the h triple r was there but again a good round of those and as we get into monday uh, another round as that boundary sinks in and um, also the um, the wharf uh, I thought I had the wharf pulled up for you here, but I don't see the wharf right now, so we'll we'll skip that. But it's telling the same story. Uh, showers and thunderstorms Sunday and Monday. Some of those could be strong to severe. In fact, the SPC, uh, this is their day two uh, from Saturday evening uh, for today, Sunday, showing uh, a slight risk of uh, severe weather there. That's the level two out of five from the SPC folks uh, there over the Ohio Valley down to the uh, to Tennessee River Valley, North Alabama, uh, some marginal risk down to about I-20. As we get into the uh, what's now the day three outlook, which will be the day two by the time you see this, uh, slight risk of, shower, of uh, severe weather from North Alabama all the way up into Pennsylvania with a marginal risk covering a good bit of our state. Uh, we'll kind of uh, look into that and see what we think. As a matter of fact, let's use the... Um, Let's use the H triple R here. About four o'clock. Let's take a, a little quick sounding um, off of that. Uh, this is Sunday afternoon. You know, when at, about peak heating, around four or five o'clock. A sounding there, sort of uh, near the uh, intersection of uh, Shelby, Tuscaloosa, and Jefferson counties. Shows marginal severe. Good bit of cape. Not much shear. Um, so, you know, strong to severe thunderstorms, as we, you know, often see in the summertime, uh, you know, born off the basis of the instability. As we move into um, Monday um, and, and take a sounding, a point sounding out, 
uh, for early afternoon as those are late afternoons as showers and thunderstorms are getting uh, organized. We'll do it over uh, the uh, Birmingham metro area, marginal severe. Cape again, no problem. Uh, the effective shear, though, on Monday is better. You notice uh, some of these wind barbs, 30, 35, 40 knots of wind over Alabama as a trough to our north sort of slides by. Uh, the, uh, the, we find the uh, zero C isotherm also pretty low in the atmosphere, so there could be some hail on Monday. There will be prolific rain producers, 1.88 inches of uh, uh, precipitable water. And we have seen some analogs. Uh, soundings that look like this have produced some pretty significant hail. I would not expect that to be the main problem. That downdraft cape uh, with um, the, the potential for downburst winds is going to be our, our main problem. Let's set up the upper pattern across uh, North America showing a, a broad ridge. Uh, standard, uh, still there in West Texas. Uh, the heat continues in the Phoenix area. They're going on their way to setting another a streak of 110 degree days only the first of august when they uh, went up to 109 that's the only time they've been uh, below 110 for their daytime high in a long long time approaching 50 days now uh, in the phoenix area you see though uh, broad trough uh, or troughiness over the northern tier states and that continues with a parade of disturbances and uh, that will keep us busy in terms of showers and thunderstorms look out there in the voodoo territory week two look at that a little uh, tropical system perhaps developing around the 16th or 17th in the northwestern gulf one of those close-in homegrown systems that moves up into into uh, the central texas coast and then uh, makes its way on to the east and that could spread some moisture uh, our way here in alabama the gfs is our model of choice starting off on this sunday um, showing uh, those showers and thunderstorms moving out early more showers and thunderstorms developing during the day as we get into monday that boundary sinks down into alabama possibility of severe thunderstorms again that uh, sinks into south central alabama tuesday i think the northern half of the state may remain dry but showers and thunderstorms will be active again once over uh, over south central alabama um, and and into the southern part of the state and then just the uh, the presence of that troughiness to our north uh, with a uh, boundary hanging around means uh, rounds of showers and thunderstorms look like looks like wednesday night thursday night Friday might be a little bit drier, but another boundary trying to sink in here. And uh, the radar lights up by late Saturday into Saturday night with uh, widespread showers and thunderstorms. There you see the uh, tropical wave moving into the southern Gulf of Mexico. It moves into the northwestern Gulf there by the 14th, and it's approaching the uh, middle Texas coast there uh, by the 15th, possibly spinning up uh, a little depression or tropical storm right there around uh, Brownsville or Corpus Christi. You can see that move up into eastern Texas northwestern Louisiana. This is Friday the 18th, showing that surge of moisture trying to work its way into Alabama. And we will never complain uh, about moisture uh, this time of year in Alabama in the southeast. This is the National Blend of Models over the next 10 days, showing temperatures uh, warmest over the next two days, today and tomorrow. We'll be back to near summertime uh, normals for Alabama, 90 to 93. Uh, for highs all through the remainder of the 10-day period, overnight lows will consistently be in the 70s. Now, we uh, caution you that we do have um, uh, a risk of, uh, uh, of heat-borne illnesses and things uh, because of uh, the uh, combined effects of temperature and humidity today and Monday. Those heat index values are going to be approaching uh, 105. These are uh, heat advisories uh, stretched all the way from the uh, northeastern coast of Florida all through the southern United States into the southwest. That's the heat uh, that's the story all across the nation, of course. Uh, but this is what we, um, you know, this is uh, kind of what we expect in precipitation uh, over, let's see if I can pull that up for you. Uh, there's uh, precipitation over the next seven days from the Weather Prediction Center showing uh, fairly plentiful rainfall amounts over Alabama. We'll take it. Two to three inches of rain common, the uh, least amounts over the western part of the state. Looks like uh, the heavier amounts will be over eastern sections. Well, Weather Brains, the weekly netcast, it's all about weather. We'll be talking about heat bursts on Monday night. 
with an expert uh, in that field, one of the leading experts in the world, uh, a fascinating phenomenon that happens often over the Plain States of the United States and um, something we'll be uh, really digging into deeply on Monday night. We get James back here from vacation and uh, do Weather Brains on our regularly scheduled time. Well, weather video for this Sunday, the 6th of August. I'll have notes on the blog. A uh, complete update on the forecast coming up at noon today. We'll watch those thunderstorms through the afternoon. We'll step you through those. Keep those sources of warnings close at hand just in case you need them. And as I always tell you, so I get to see you next Sunday. Keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at.